aircraft in question felt any impact. Thank you, Brody. The one will do that. Call you back. You can head home. In fact, no, just to be safe, hold short Charlie 3 before entering Bravo. I got two aircraft taxiing past you. Hey, hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and I'm back with this Sanjian Digital Radio. I am having all kinds of fun with this radio. I had not used my Grace Radio, which is also a digital radio, in a long time, except I have it set up as tuned to a scanner on the Internet. That's all I've been using it for. I forgot about the fact that... <clears throat> that he will tune stations throughout the world. And this one, the Sanjian, the audio is so much better. And it's stereo. It's got two speakers, heavy, heavy speakers. And I'm just having all kinds of fun with it. I, uh, I was going to show you kind of a, um, a quick overview of the stations. Let me go back. I've got it tuned. This is, let me go back, one, yes, no, two. <clears throat> okay, I went on yesterday, I went on the internet to their website, and I registered this radio, and I put in two stations that I selected from their list of thousands of stations as two of my pre-selected. Now, I could have selected that via, uh, via the radio itself, but... <clears throat> using uh, the keypad here to go through that and find something that I was interested in. It was just easier on the internet. So I selected it, then I said save it, and when I saved it, it sent it to this radio, and now it's one of my pre-selects. Actually, I've got two set up. Uh, let me go back one more. So I've got the BBC Radio 4, which are broadcast from the BBC. And there's, I think, four or five stations within that station. And then I have the one I showed you before. Well, it defaults. Um, is the Science 360 program, which is just scientific discussion. There's many, many more. I just chose those two. I think I have in my listing for my grace, I think I have about a dozen stations that I've selected. And most of them are talk or entertainment, non-music stuff. Because I can hear non-music stuff. I don't. That's the beauty of this in the Grace, Grace Radio, is you can get all that information, which is just not available if you're in, like, say, the United States, unless you hook up your computer and tie up your computer and... This makes it stand alone. I love this. I love this concept. It, I don't know if it went over very well. I'm thinking it did. But um, this kind of reminds me of the Bose, B-O-S-E radios, in that the fidelity is superior. Now, even though it's a plastic case, it's got, I don't know for sure, but it feels, it feels like it's those massive speakers that you see in Bose radios. I think that's what's in here. Maybe Bose designed the audio part of it. Anyway, I was going to show you the selection. So let me go back. And I'm just rambling here. Uh, if you're not interested, this is all, just, you know, it's time to go to another video. I'm just going to ramble here. So here are here is the main selection of stations. So if I go up here to the top, this is stations that are built into the radio as far as selecting. And so you select that, and then you can find a station of your interest by location, genera, or one that you set up as a pre-selection. This is another way you can do what I did on the internet. And you can have, I think, nine pre-selects. And then I don't do anything, it defaults to the last thing it was doing. Okay, let's go back. So we can go to, and I, I've got my webcam now on lower resolution so I can zoom in better and show you the screen better. Because I know you're excited about this. Now I guess I have to get my camera to <coughs> focus. 
it, like I said, what it does, you don't do anything for a few seconds, it defaults back to what it was doing. So I got to go back, and I got to go to location, and I hit select, using, using the uh, remote, and now you can select, for instance, a location, Africa, Americas, Asia, Caribbean, Europe, internet only, that's interesting, I wonder why that means internet only. Aren't they, aren't they all internet? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it means it's a station that only broadcasts on the internet and they don't have a transmitter that broadcasts over the airwaves. Middle East, Oceania, all. I'm going to stay away from all. Let's go back. Let me see if I can find China Radio. Let's go back to Asia. Select. Afghanistan and some of those other places I can't pronounce. Cambodia, China. Okay, we'll select China. And it said it found, just briefly, it said it found 39 stations that are have something to do with China. And so let's see if there's there's Beijing Classic, Beijing Good Music. Beijing Music Radio, Beijing Story Radio, some other place, Easy, Easy Music, some other place, China Plus Radio, Chonga Juba Music, CNR1. That's what I want. China National Radio 1. That's the station that I use to when band conditions were good on shortwave, I would listen to on my shortwave radio. And one of my internet friends who used to do videos moved to China to be a broadcaster on that station, but I've lost contact with him. I don't know what happened there, buddy. If you're out there, please contact me. I'm worried that uh, something may have happened. Okay, it went back to default. Go back. <laughs> okay, I gotta do it all over again. So, stations, select, location, Asia. See why it's easier to do this on the internet? Unless, unless you like to play with a remote. I mean, some people, myself included, I catch myself doing it, play games just doing things with a remote. Okay, where was I? Oops, it was China, that's what it was. China. And now I've got to find, it was near the end, I think. Whoop. Oh no, there's a whole bunch of, I didn't realize there was a whole bunch of them. Look at that. Look at all these, what is that, what did I say, 39 China radio stations? Okay, let's go to one. Okay, we'll select that. It's connecting. Now I'm still struggling down here in my workshop with my internet connection. So I may have problem connecting. <clears throat> in the meantime I'll get a drink while that's doing that. I apologize for my previous video being so long winded and kind of slow. I'm still recovering from that food poisoning so I'm still a little slow. Kind of like this internet connection is. So I might not be able to show you this because it it buffering. Okay, it's buffering, and it should be playing. I got the volume down. Okay, they're not broadcasting in English. <laughs> so that is that is a station that I. I like to listen to it shortwave, but right now, forget it. I can't get it on shortwave at all. Um, and I can say I know some, I know someone from YouTube that moved over there and became a broadcaster on CNR1, I believe. He even lived in an apartment complex right near the transmitting station or studio. But I've lost contact with him. He hasn't emailed me back in over a year. Spencer, 
I hope you're out there. Please contact me. Calling Spencer. Anyway, so that's one thing you can do. Let's go back. Go back. So you got all these places that you can choose. This is another way of checking your over the air radios. If you're not receiving, like, you know, do I really know a station is broadcasting? And that's maybe why I'm not receiving it on my, my, my Grundig 800 back there. It's another way of checking it. Of course, you can do this on your computer. Just not as much fun. Okay, we're going back. And then we can select genera. I think that's how you pronounce that word. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, adult, adult contemporary, alternate, and it goes on and on. I like to listen to genera ambient. So let's just see if what we can get here. Now that's music, so I have to be careful. Select. Locating 277 stations that are broadcasting ambient type music. And so we're just going to select the first one. It's connecting. Don't know if I have a problem connecting. Buffering. Okay, there it's playing. I'll just slowly turn up the volume. This is at 192 kilobits per second. So that's real high fidelity. Alexa, play Whitney Houston on Amazon Music. There we go. Okay. There's Whitney. I like Whitney. Okay, so that's something else that you can listen to. You can waste, or, or not waste, but you can use a lot of time playing with these kinds of devices. Um, if I had to choose, forgetting about the price, if I had to choose between the Sage in here, which is um, monotone screen, my color screen, or the Sanjian, which is the bigger screen color, although it's not real high resolution. Um, and this one, which has stereo, a Bose-like speaker system, I would choose this, the, the sound quality, so much better. Now, I don't know the range of the Wi-Fi. I don't know how that differs. The my Grace radio I have right up within two feet of my router because it does struggle. Um, I don't believe it has, and I'll zoom back out. I don't think it has a external antenna. It might, and this is the external antenna for this guy. Not very long. Or Wi-Fi, of course, and you can have a direct connection if you can uh, get to your router and make a direct connection. I, I just I was so excited about this. I was playing with this, and I go, you know, I got to show my audience more of this. Oh, the other, other thing is the center line here. That she's scrolling, and now it's actually got something interesting in it. Is data about what's going on on that particular broadcast at that particular time. Like it could be the um, artist. Um, this, now it's scrolling what the title of the station is. Music program. And now it's scrolling down here. Unlucky, I'm not in a stranger. Music. Techno House. Progressive. WWE. And then it gives their address. So you get data coming across the center. I really like it. I, and I'm really thankful that the gentleman sent me this. He told me that um, the reason he didn't use it, and he said he, he only tried using it for a short period of time was that his Wi-Fi connection was not adequate. Was He didn't have enough bandwidth. Which, I, as you saw before, I struggle for that too. 
the thing I'm struggling with here is the signal level. I've got, I, well, actually I don't have that good of bandwidth. My download speed maximum direct connection is only 39, where most of the providers now give you a minimum of 100. Mine's an old um, subscription. And of course, when I call them, because they got ads on TV and it says, you know, minimum is 100. So I call them and I says, okay, the minimum is 100 now. Why can't I get 100? Because you're not a new customer. I was like, okay, so I have to quit, cancel my account, wait some period of time, and then come back, and then I'll be a new customer? Well, no, that's not the way it works. And I says, well, what if I just go to another provider and just forget about you? I mean, there's in our area, there's probably you know, four or five providers. Unfortunately, I've had very good service from the one I've had. I've had them since... They started in this area about 11 years ago. Okay, I'm babbling again. I don't want to babble. Uh, that's it. I just want to show you this thing. It's cool radio. Be a good radio to pick up on eBay because um, maybe like this gentleman, they bought it and they didn't have good enough internet service, so it didn't work. So they was like, well, I'm going to get rid of it. I wish... It wasn't a copyright thing, and I wish I could let you listen to it. Although, you really couldn't tell because I'm recording with a mono uh, microphone, so you couldn't tell. But the, the sound is beautiful. And there's a ton of options. This is, zoom out here, I'm going to babble for a few more seconds. You've either, you're interested in hearing this or you've moved on to another channel already. Come on, zoom, 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 zoom. Okay, here's a cheat sheet they give you of all the functions. And I know it, the, the light is reflected. So here's all the menu functions. It's kind of a big sheet. Um, so here's all the radio stations as you can, I know you can't see it, all the radio stations that you can find either by location, genera, or 12 presets, okay. Um, the media player function is for you to share media on your internet between computers and cell phones and stuff like that. Auxiliary input, alarm clock with um, the sleep timer. Auxiliary input, change the backlighting. I said you probably could change the backlighting. Clock setup, language, configure the a scan for networks, enter the network name, blah, 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 blah. And you can do a upgrade firmware. Always scared to do that, especially if something's working. Hmm. And then you can choose audio modes, bass, treble, fist, I'm not sure what that is. F I S T mode menu. You can change change the audio. Pretty cool. I'm through babbling. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Next, I think what I'll do is and I'll move my camera for a second and show you something bizarre I found while cleaning up. And whoops, uh, break something here. And it's that monster right there. I'll put my foot down by it so you can... Well, maybe I won't. I'll pick it up. Liberally. This monster. I want to do that next. I found that. Uh, this was a... Or is... A um, radio that I got from a free cycler. If you don't know what free cyclers are, it's a nationwide, maybe even international group on the international, on the international, on the internet, well, my medicine is kicking in, for people to recycle stuff. Instead of throwing it in their garbage, they post it up there, and if somebody wants it or needs it, wants to play with it, um, 
they say, oh, I'll take that, you know. And I've been doing that for about three years. I recycle, and I think I mentioned that uh, a couple of shows ago. If you look there, and all, well, it's all around here. I recycle computers. And what I do is I get these older computers. I fix them up. I clean off all the previous owner's information and do a wipe so there's no way you can recover it. And I reset it up, restore, do, do a factory restore, and then I give them away. And I enjoy doing that, although I kind of backed up, as I mentioned before, I was up to 36 computers, and a lot of them I just couldn't give away because they were just so old. They worked fine, but they were like Windows XP, and they, they just, nobody wanted them. That's, bottom line, nobody wanted them. So uh, I recycled a bunch of those, gave groups of those away, like two or three at a time, and uh, took some parts to the dumpster. And how did I get on that subject? I am babbling. I've passed 20 minutes. I'll see ya. Bye-bye.